Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Sarah Buyukan, your friend here. And if you are new, welcome. And in my channel, I love to talk about life in Canada. I love to share the ideas, the reality of life here in Canada, okay? So, if you're the person outside and willing to settle here in the future, all the videos I'm sharing is for you, my dear friend, okay? So anyway, today's video, I'm going to share you how you can find a job offer here in Canada, okay? How can you find a Canadian employer who can hire you to bring here and sponsor you here to come and work here and become a permanent resident in the future? Okay, that's I'm going to share with you guys and I'm going to share you exactly what I did why I'm here in Canada. Okay, so number one tips is I'm from Philippines because I cannot able to afford to come directly from Philippines to come here. I'm a poor lady. What I did, I went to work in Hong Kong, okay? So from Hong Kong, I find a real person, a real agency who helped me to find employer here in Canada. So it works. So if in case you think you cannot able to apply directly by yourself through the internet, try to apply agency. Agency is a big help because of course it's a business, right? That's how they make money too. You pay them, they will find employer for you here in Canada. So it works, it works for me. I pay 4,000, more than 4,000 Canadian dollar to this agency that was way back 10 years ago. At the same time, I pay my police clearance my air air ticket to come here in canada so you need to spend some money in order for you to come here in canada if you really want to come here okay there is no free no way so if you think that la, yeah this agency is too much money of course some agency is too much money too it's not good but if you really want to come here and you think this agency is a good person who can trusted person who can find you an employer then go ahead okay my dear friend because it helps and it's easy for you as long as complete all the documents you think you are qualified you have enough units in college then go ahead go to the agency okay that's my best advice too okay number two you have to do is if you have a relatives here if you have a friend here if you have auntie a brother or a sister they can help you find an employer here in Canada, okay? Because uh, it's easier, like they can see some big companies who is hiring, they can able to find employer for you, or they are the one who can hire for you. But I tell you this, to hire people from overseas is not easy. As an employer, it's not easy, okay? Too much paperwork, we need to submit the labor market opinion from the government here in Canada, they call LAMIA. In order for the employer to be approved because they will the government of Canada they have to see you as an employer is qualified to hire people from overseas and they will ask question too because you need to do some explanation why you need to hire from people from overseas when there are people here in Canada looking for a job it makes sense right so that's why you need to do some explanation as an employer so it's too much that's why Canadian people they better hire people inside Canada so that's why if I were you try to convince your family your friends or if they have small children you think they can make good enough money they are qualified to hire you as a caregiver as their nanny try to convince them like I can come and help you and do all the job and you give me a job offer something like that just talk like you know so yeah I hope it helps if you have some family here okay because you know Canada sometimes so much requirements to do and even you like as a caregiver you need to do some requirements too before you come here in Canada right so it's not easy but I told you this time of pandemic let's everything take it easy and just apply and uh, if your application is a little bit slow just be patient as i mentioned you many times just be patient okay especially those pilot program caregiver is a little bit slow it's almost a year and nothing is happening so just be patient okay so anyway that's number two number three tip i'm going to share you is try to explore the canadian labor market in canada okay you have to apply by online the job bank in canada is a legal website of canadian okay so in every province here in canada they have their own job bank so let's say you want to look for a job in saskatchewan uh, manitoba in alberta british columbia ontario new brunswick 
um, what else the province here in Canada um, Northwest Territories oh my god I forgot now but yeah in every province here in Canada they have their own job bank okay so in order for you to be hired from Canadian employer apply not just only one province okay just try to apply in every province here in Canada because they have their own job bank so just in case apply it not just only for one month apply it like every three days or every five days submit your application it's okay because it's online right you never know just keep on submitting your application they will hire you try to explain it to them and do good in your resume as well impress your employer you have to do good in your resume your skills you have to prove that you have the skills you encourage them you tell them that they'll hire you and give you a job offer and you are very well qualified to work on that kind of job okay so something like that so try to apply not just only for one month don't apply just only one province because try to we have i don't know 12 13 province in canada apply them open their canadian job bank website in every province and then submit all the applications they will hire you i guarantee if you do that look for the skills that you think you are strong enough to work with that kind of job you have to be honest also what what you are saying in your application okay, okay. so whoever the applicants outside in canada because of the time of pandemic still they accept people from overseas okay don't be disappointed if you really want to go in abroad you really want to come here in canada but you don't have the chance because of this pandemic my best advice is try to apply in different countries okay let's say you are from philippines apply in different um uh countries okay like go to taiwan korea and build more skills and that time when everything is okay we don't know then that's a time you apply and cross country here in canada right so anyway not just for filipino that's why this is the reason why i'm trying my best to speak english as much as i can my english is not good my grammar is wrong but bear with me and if you have any comment because you don't understand what i'm talking about just comment down below and ask me and i try to explain as much as i can because i want to talk and share for everybody not just only for philippines but to the whole world okay like i have some friend from nigeria say hi to my mama juliet and thank you for watching there i have some friend from uh, india and pakistan thank you for watching as well if you have any question i'm trying my best to answer you as much as i can guys thank you for watching and if you like my video today give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as i'm going to upload more videos related and everything and anything here in canada just to remind you again i'm not an agency i don't belong to any immigration consultant i'm just here a canadian citizen who share my ideas what's going on here in canada okay thank you for watching and god bless you and i'll see you for my next video bye